Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Teradata that is Teradata Architecture. Here we are going to see just an introduction to Teradata Architecture and this is the picture of the Teradata Architecture. Teradata Architecture is based on Massively Parallel Processing Architecture that is MPP. The major components of the Teradata are Parsing Engine, the BiNet and AMP Parsing Engine Before that we should know one thing about uh, the uh, this architecture that is node What is a node? No, it is the basic unit in the Teradata system A node consists of its own operating system CPU, memory own copy of the Teradata RDBMS software and disk space a cabinet may consist of one or more one or more nodes and what is PE? PE is the parsing engine whenever the user writes the query that means the SQL request normally we write the query in the uh, that uh, SQL tools what are the SQL tools available with us we will write the query that is the SQL request it is passed to the parsing engine first and parsing engine is a virtual processor that is a software component it is made up of the following components that is session control the parser the optimizer and the dispatcher okay whenever the SQL request is received parsing engine first checks the syntax of the SQL if it is okay then it goes for the access whether that particular person is having access to access the table access for the table then it optimizes the query that everybody knows that is the query plan after preparing that query plan it sends it to the AMP through BINET here BINET is the message passing layer if it is a single node the BINET is the software component if it is multiple nodes then BINET is the hardware component later on we will see about the MPP at that time I will show the diagram how the BINET is communicating BINET helps to communicate in between the nodes here is only one node okay and uh, <coughs> PE is the component that helps us to manages the dialogue between the client and the RDBMS okay through the message passing layer by net only we are able to communicate with the AMP the parsing engine actually dispatches it prepares the plan and dispatches the steps for the AMPs that is the access model processor to perform the query then the results then it retrieves the data from the disk storage and it passes on the result to the parsing engine through BINET that is the response information is routed back to the requesting PE through through BINET okay. what is exactly this access module processor the access module processor is also a virtual processor that is responsible for managing the portion of the uh, database each EMP is having its own disk so whenever the request is coming from the client through PE it um, that AMP uh, retrieves the data from the disk and send it to the uh, PE and from PE to client it will be passed to the client okay AMP performs all tasks in parallel the main purpose of the that AMP it's uh, storing and retrieving the data from the disk that is the function of the A access module processor we will see about in-depth passing engine by net and AMP in the next video this is just an introduction thanks bye